Now, risotto is easier than you think. Most people are a little nervous about making it, but actually, it's not that hard. As long as you get all your ingredients together and the trick is to spend at least dedicate 20 to 25 minutes to actually stir the risotto. That gives it that wonderful creamy texture. And I like to heat the chicken broth I'm gonna use right from the beginning. So it's hot, it goes into the risotto that's hot and it speeds up the cooking process. Very important, no matter what liquid you use, whether it's chicken stock, vegetable stock, beef stock or water, heat it up ahead of time. So that's ready. We're melting some butter. And I'm gonna chop some onions until the butter's ready and then we'll add the rice. The onion and the garlic really give a lot of flavor to the risotto. So it's sort of a base that I like to use all the time when I make risotto. Just chop it finely because you don't wanna actually have pieces of onion in your mouth. So we're just gonna chop it very fine. And you can use as much or as little as you like. Got my onion, I'm just gonna use half. Add a couple of garlic cloves. Could be two, could be three. I think two is good today. Again, I like to chop it pretty fine. We'll add the garlic and a little bit more salt. Just to sweat the onion so I don't brown them too quickly. So we're just gonna cook that for a minute and we're ready to add the arborio rice. Now, this is the classic rice for risotto, is arborio rice and it's a short grain rice. It's Plump, and it's got a lot of starch in it. And that's what gives it that creamy texture. So we're just gonna use about a cup. So we're just toasting the rice. And you toast it for about two minutes or so. And the reason you toast it is because it gives the rice sort of a toasty, um, nutty flavor that really adds a lot of flavor to the rice. So now we're ready for the red wine and the red wine gives it a robust, hearty flavor so the kernels will absorb it and a great romantic color. So about a half a cup of red wine and we'll let most of the red wine evaporate. And I, I happen to love risotto, absolutely love it. And I know that when I've gone out to eat, all my friends always order it and then they think to themselves, I wish I could make that at home. I always tell them, it's super easy. You just have to give yourself that 20 minutes. You can't just put it on the stove and walk away like you can with a rice pilaf. You wanna add a little bit of stock at a time, a couple ladlefuls at a time. And that way, you continually stir it. The uh, rice kernels will slowly release the starch, which makes this rice velvety and fantastic. All right, we'll add a little bit more. Mmm, it looks pretty already. Okay, while that cooks down a little bit, just for a minute, I'm gonna get over here and prep the rest of my ingredients. We're gonna have some parsley for color and for a little bit of fresh flavor. And chop it. And the parsley's lemony, so it kind of wakes up the risotto. And of course, some green Parmesan cheese. Some fresh Parmigiano Reggiano. We're gonna grate it, and then we're gonna toss it on top. And of course, this adds even more creaminess and thickens it even more. Perfect. Got that ready. And now, my little trick here. Some defrosted peas. Now, the thing with the peas is I don't add that much, but my husband loves peas, and also they add little sparks of green, you know? So you just let them thaw out, and you add them right at the end. The heat from the risotto will just heat the, the peas through, and it'll keep that vibrant green color. Okay, back to the risotto. We're almost there. It starts to thicken. We keep adding more stock. 
When we finish with the stock and we've incorporated all the stock into the risotto, we're ready to top it with all these ingredients and then time to eat. You know the risotto's ready when the rice grains have plumped up, the risotto's creamy and thick. Then you add some peas right on top. Chopped parsley. And top it all off with some grated parmigiano reggiano cheese. Mm mm mm. My red wine risotto is so good, it's passion in a bowl. Yeah.